Hello, here with Chris at HD Piano. Welcome to Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Let's dive in and learn the intro and both of the verses. One, two, three, four. Here's the verse. As the pre-chorus and that's where I want to stop for now. This is what we're going to focus on in part one and later on over at hdpiano.com we're going to focus on the choruses. And all the additional sections. I hope you join me for the full lesson over there. In part one we're going to focus just on this ostinato that keeps happening on the left hand. These two notes I keep going back and forth between are F and G. So the rhythm here is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And th throughout pretty much everything I played at the beginning of the video, I was playing that rhythm in the bass line. The beauty of this song is that it's really just based around these two chords. F major 7 and G major. So those notes are F, C, A, C, and E, moving to a regular G triad in the right, G, B, and D, playing G and D in my left. This is the chord progression that is happening underneath everything in this song. And all we're really doing throughout the different sections is changing the inversions of the chord. So for instance, in the intro, play this, E, A, and C, that's an F major seven inverted, and that's on beat two. One, two, three, four, two and four. There's our regular G major triad I was talking about, so. Now, look what we've done. We've inverted F major 7 again. Now we have A, E, and C. Hold out that A in your pinky and play these on 2 and 4 the same way. Moving back down to B and D for another G chord. And then all white notes. D, E, D, C. back down to A with the F in the left and then fill out the F major 7 C and E on 2 and 4 1 2 3 4 moving back to the G and B and D in the right same sort of shape A B A G D being held out in your pinky down to E in your right hand thumb and then you gotta fill out the rest of the F major 7 so we got A and C on top again on 2 and 4 and that G major 7 G triad just G major triad on 1 2 3 4 that's a riff that's gonna keep happening in the keys part throughout the rest of the recording so keep an eye on that you're gonna be seeing that a lot all right, so let's go back to the intro and hear that slowly. I'll narrate a bit as we go. One, two, three, four. F major seven, G, G.
and it's important to note when we're playing this A in our pinky, we're really mimicking that guitar part, right? From the original recording. And we're mixing that in with the keys part from the recording, which is more of these simple chordal patterns that we were talking about. All right, and now the ostinato, the bass line, continues throughout the verse. Now, as the verse gets a little more syncopated, I encourage you to simplify, if you like, to just maybe half notes on the F and G bass line, whatever makes it easy for you to execute the melody. Let's check out the beginning of the verse. Let's pause right there. So, I'm really just working with a handful of notes in this melody. A, C, D, E. So first we're just stepping up these four notes, then back down, and the phrase ends on C. Now here you go again, you say you want your free dumb, and that's A, C, A, D, A. All right, with the left hand, it sounds like this. Now, same group of notes. Just one subtle difference at the end of the phrase. Now, who am I? C, D, A, and that surprise A comes on beat four. Repeat that on beat two. And then that beautiful guitar line that answers the melody on the recording comes right there. D, E, G, D, E, E, C, A. To emphasize that moment, you can just hold out a whole note G in your left hand. All right, so that's that whole phrase all together. Let's hear the next one. Okay, so it starts expanding into a little bit of a higher register, but this should look familiar. This is our F major 7 I was talking about. A, A, G, C, B. That is the main melody happening here, aka these four notes, G, A, B, C, in this order. I think this is Dogface 208's favorite part of the song. And then if you add the chords underneath. That's your F major 7, C, E, A. And that's an inverted G major triad, like we were talking about before. Step down, B, A, A, G. Moving back to A, C, E. This is a beautiful chord. It's almost G major, but now we call it G6, raising that five up to six, and step down to the A in the middle of the chord. You might call this a G6-9. So that phrase together, Now, now is as good a time as any to point out that this is all on the white notes. A hundred percent of the song, the notes we play in this song are white, and 
I want you to remember that these two chords, F and G back and forth, are just sort of a, a infinite suspension on the four and five chords of C major. That's why these would be all wide notes. And at one point in the interlude, we actually go to A minor. Very briefly, we resolve at the only point in the song that happens. And we'll get to that later on at htpiano.com. Very fascinating song that I've loved for a long time. I'm excited you are learning it with us. Let's check out this final phrase of the verse. So that is kind of back to the notes we started on. E, D, C, A, E, D, C, A, D, C. With the left hand. And then G, G, E, D, C. And then C, A on B4. leads you into the pre-chorus, but from the beginning of that phrase one more time, E, D, C, A, E, D, C, A, D, C, and again I'm filling in the chord, F major 7, A and C under these melody notes. Hold it out, drop it down to that G major, back to our F chord, and that's her G6 that we were just talking about. Step down to D, C, C, A, leading you into the pre-chorus. Verse number two, it just has a couple subtle differences. Let me play you verse two from the top really quick. That is, I keep my visions to myself. Same group of notes, just E, D, C, G, A. Same guitar line right here. That's all the same. And check this out. Pretty subtle, but check it out. Have you any dreams you'd like to share? E D C A E D E D C G A. G A. And that last phrase is the same as verse one. Okay. Let's hear verse one one more time, just for good measure, make sure we got it, and we'll put it all together. I'll see you in the next video after that. My name is Chris with HD Piano. Thanks so much for learning this iconic song that has returned to the charts this year after a viral TikTok. It's such a pleasure to teach this to you, and I hope to see you at hdpiano.com for the full lesson. All right, great job making it this far. If you're already at hdpiano.com, go ahead and click on the next video. And if you're not, head on over there to keep learning the rest of the song. In the meantime, stay in touch with us on social media, on YouTube, drop a comment, like, and subscribe. If you have song ideas, send them to requests.hdpiano.com. My name is Chris with HD Piano, and I'll see you around.